Okay, that may have been the best I could do for now. <laughs> and that puts us P1 for now. No, we're gonna do some racing, uh, Rando. We're gonna do racing. I'm just doing my track guy real quick. Yeah, all right. Go ahead and do go ahead and do yours then, Randall, because I'm I'm about to do mine right now, bro. Yeah, Grove out there already too, bro. Wow. Dang, race B didn't even reset yet. So okay, we have time to put this one up then. I yeah I know Matt I know I'll enjoy it while I can Hey, let's go, Lisa. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> all right well let's just go ahead and get this uh get this up real quick um well to be honest though guys i mean one thing i can only say about this track is there's so much cornering here so much cornering that every corner matters you know you really want to slow down as much as you can to hit each apex here because with, without getting a good exit, you're going to lose a lot of time. I mean, you can simply mess up one corner, make it up the next corner, or just simply throw the whole lap in one, in one corner, though. So, um, yes, I did, Matt. I did, I did. But, um, yeah, other than that, you just got to be really careful with your, uh, flat through the S's, uh... I did lift a little bit. I definitely lift it. You probably can just take it flat, but I definitely lifted a, a tad bit. Um, but yeah, you got to be so precise with your uh, braking inputs and be smooth in the exits because this is so much time you can gain at every corner. So, well, with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into this. All right, well, as I always tell you guys, the final corner where you start at, you always want to get a good exit. Um, if you're not getting a good exit on the final corner, y you're not going to start off the lap well enough. You want to carry as much speed as you can down this first first turn here on the straight. So always get a good exit from the start. So as we're coming down the straight, guys, for T1, this is really precise. Um, you're actually not going to break at the 100 board. You actually want to break a little bit before that. So if you see on the 100 board uh, on the left side here, you actually want to break a little bit before that. So right before you even pass it, you're going to get off the power and 100% break all the way down this T1. Just enough to hit this apex because it is a tight hairpin. Um, you want to, uh, you definitely want to hit it as best you can. 
Now, mind you guys, there's a dip here. So if you don't hit it correctly, the car will be very unsettled and you're going to really lose control of the car and you don't want to do that. So be careful how you turn here at T1 because it is per very precise. So you're going to go all the way down to first gear and then back up to second on the exit. So try to get as close as you can to this apex. It is very tough, very difficult. But uh, once you get through that, you see that after the dip, that's when you want to kind of get back on the power there. So um, use very, very uh, precise throttle control. Don't go 100% yet. You want to keep the car pretty stable once you get the car straightened out. You're going to go up to third and then back down to second just for the rotation. Second gear is good here. A little bit of braking, just enough to get close to the curb. And then back up to third. Use a little bit of throttle control. Now, it's okay to go off the side here, guys. Two tires on the curb. You can have the other two off the side. That's okay. Use as much track as you can here to carry enough speed through this next corner here on the downhill. So I just kept it in third, and then 100% uh, hundred percent break, and then trail break. Trail break, just enough to hit this curb here. Keep it in second, use a little bit of throttle, just enough to get the car around the curb. You're going to go up to 100%, lift a little bit again, and then back up to third. So you get a decent exit, keep the car stable. Mind you guys, right here, this is okay to go over. You can actually go way over to the white line as much as you can. That's okay. Use as much track as you can here because you do have to go pretty wide. And then 100% on the exit there. So my breaking point for this is when the cone's in. So as soon as the cone's in here where the white line starts, that's when you're going to get off the power and apply brake. 100% then trail brake. Third gear, feather the gas a little bit. And then this this corner here is very precise. Um, you can lose a lot of time here or you can gain a lot. So 100% um, brake and then trail brake. Now I go down a second just for the rotation and actually exit in second. Or you could use third too. But um, I don't know. I, I kind of felt like it was uh, pretty quicker to use second. But you may could use third as well too. Um, but uh, for the exit... You want to use the, the green tarmac here. That just means that you're using the full width of the track. Get you a good exit there. So as long as two tires are on that tarmac, that means you're in a good spot there. So so don't 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 feel bad if you're going off to that tarmac. That's actually good if you're doing that. Um now for this hairpin, mind you guys, like there's gonna be a lot of hairpins, tight corners. Um This is my breaking point uh for this. Where that curb start that that little off, off the track over the white line, that, that curve right there. Pretty much that's my uh, indicator to brake. So right when you pass that, that's when you're going to get on the brakes there. 100%. Go all the way down to first gear for the rotation and then back up to second. I also use second gear to exit here. But if you do, be careful on the throttle because you can't go 100% or else you're going to spin. So use a little bit of throttle control and then 100%. Mind you guys. These exits here, if you're using the tarmac, that's great. That means you're using the whole width of the track, so keep that in mind. Now, this is also critical. You want to get the car up on this curb, two tires up on there. And then, as you guys can see where those tire marks are, that should be your indicator to start turning in. So when you pass those tire marks, that, that should be your indicator to start turning in. Now... You may be able to take this flat, possibly, to carry, you know, carry a little bit more extra speed. But it, it's a very fine line. It's a fine line to do that. So I did lift uh, quite a lot, um, a little bit under 50%, and then quickly back onto the power. Um, you don't want to go over this green tarmac. If you do, you're most likely going to get a pen. So as long as your two tires are on that green tarmac, you're not going to lose time, and you won't get a pen. So as best you can uh, carry as much speed through this, without uh, losing any time or keeping the car unstable, then that's great. This next corner here, like I said, guys, lots of corners. So use the 100 board for this. Right before the 100 board is when you're going to break. So before we even get to the 100 board, it's really, it's pretty much about a 150, just about. So um, break all the way down to maybe second gear and then back up to third. But um, if you do go down to second, go back up to third on the exit. Now, this is a very uh, fast uh, next corner here on the right. So 
you're gonna like lightly trail break this. I did go down a second because I did kind of overshot it, so I went back up to third. You really want to get as close as you can to that curve there to hit that apex. Um, it, it, it's very precise. It's a quick upcoming corner after that uh, previous corner. Um, you should be able to take this uh, nearly 100% uh, without losing the car, but you may have to correct your steering a bit if you do. Now, mind you guys, like I said, each corner that you're coming out of, if there's green tarmac, use it. You know, the green tarmac is your best friend here getting a good exit because you're using the full width of the track. So as we're coming to the final sector, this this can be a, a, a make or break here, guys. This chicane here. You either nail it or you lose all your lap time. So this is very critical. We're going to use the 100 board for this. So right as we you know, have the 100 board right in front of us, we're going to start breaking 100%. Trail break enough just to hit this corner here. I kept it in third. Keep the car very stable. Depending on what car you're in, you, you may want to be careful what gear you're in here. Either second or third. Use a little bit of throttle through it. Lift a little bit if you need to when you hop over the curb. And then quickly get back on the throttle. But like I said, you want to carry as much speed as you can through that chicane. So for this final corner, I did quickly go up to fourth and then back down to third. Because if you rev out third, you're going to lose time. It's not going to keep going. You're going to actually hit the limit. So fourth and then back down to third. 100% brake and then trail brake enough to get closer you can into this curb here. Get back on the power immediately. Immediately carry as much speed as you can through this final corner, but keeping the car stable. I did lose time because I really, really was pushing that final corner, but guys... Any tarmac after a final corner, use that on the exit. Carry as much speed as you can. Don't go too far off to the sand or else you're going to lose time. But roughly throughout that though, guys, that's going to get you guys at least a 54.2. Most likely you guys are going to get a faster time than that. Picking up on my mistakes there. There is plenty plenty of time that i could have gained i lost a lots of time but generally guys that'll get you guys at least a low 54 or or better so you know hopefully this guys will help y'all get a better time if not um same time as me or better uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the track guide make sure you guys leave a like on this too guys also comment on the video if you guys like like these track guides or y'all want to see more but I'll definitely try to improve this later on, but uh, hopefully that'll help y'all out, though, bro. So. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, get that up ASAP. Uh, oh, the race is gonna start soon. We're perfect. We're on time. We're on time. Wait, what about race B? There's going to be 24s here. 23s, 24s, maybe. 24s, yeah. Maybe 23, I don't know, but definitely 24s. I'm liking, I'm liking the shorts. I even got to, I made, got, to, got to make a guest appearance on 